In this section, we provide a simple tutorial on the basics of the heart and the pacemaker. The coordinated muscle contractions of the heart are triggered by electrical signals which are periodically generated by the nerve system and conduct throughout the heart. If the generation and or conduction of the electrical signal become irregular, the rhythm of the heart changes which affects the blood pumping efficiency. These diseases are referred to as arrhythmia. One of the most common arrhythmia is called bradycardia, which features slow generation and conduction of the electrical signals. Patients with bradycardia will have slow heart rate and develop symptoms like fainting and dizziness, which will eventually lead to heart attack. Implantable pacemaker has been developed to treat bradycardia. The pacemaker is implanted under the skin near the shoulder area. Two leads are inserted into the right atrium and the ventricle through blood vessels. The lead senses the local electrical activity of the heart and delivers electrical pacing when the heart rate is low. The pacemaker holds such important role that any malfunction of the device may result in serious injury or even death of the patient. When such incidents happen, the FDA will issue recall for all affected pacemakers. For each record device, the physician needs to cut the patient open, remove the pacemaker, and replace it with a new one. Let's now look at the operation of a dual chamber pacemaker which has two leads inserted into the heart. The pacemaker lead sends the electrical activity of the heart tissue. The signals sent by the leads are referred to as electrical ground signals. Once the voltage crosses a sensing threshold, an actual sense event is triggered in the pacemaker software. It is the same for the ventricular channel. After a ventricular event, if there is no atrial sense event within a VA deadline, the pacemaker will pace the atrium. After an atrial event, if there is no ventricular sense within an AV deadline, the pacemaker will deliver a ventricular pace. Both deadlines combined will ensure a maximum interval between two ventricular events, thus maintaining the heart rate above a certain threshold. If an atrium sense happens early, the scheduled ventricular pace after the AV deadline is delayed so that the interval between a ventricular event and ventricular pace is no less than the upper rate limit. This prevents the pacemaker from increasing the heart rate too fast. There are several other filters designed to eliminate noises which can be mistakenly treated as heart event. For more information and latest updates, please go to metcps.org.